Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to talk about identity resolution. So far what we have seen is we have got the contacts and reservation from Amazon S3. We also got contacts from the Salesforce org. So now we have contacts from two different systems and what we it resulted in was some duplicates. Some of the contacts for example Sofia Rodriguez was available in the Amazon S3 sheet as well as the it was available in the Salesforce org also. So when we brought the data from both these system and it got created inside of individual DMO, we saw duplicate records. So now what we need to do is we need to resolve these duplicates with the help of identity resolution. So what is identity resolution? Identity resolution in data cloud is the process of accurately identifying and linking records that represent the same individual or account across different data sources. So what does it do? It basically helps you find out what are unique individuals that are available. So if there are any duplicates, it will help you find those duplicates and basically remove those duplicates. Now why is identity resolution important? The number one reason is inaccurate data. Because when you have duplicate records, it might be possible that they might have conflicting information. So from one uh, source, the email of the individual might be different from the data that is coming from a different source. So duplicate records, now you don't know which one is the right one, right? So duplicate records with conflicting information. So inaccurate data is not something you want in your system because that will result in bad communication. It is going to give you inaccurate results on when you're doing computation on your data, when you're doing analysis on your data, these duplicate records will cause issue. The second is inefficient market marketing, right? So if let's say you have these, you have not resolved or you have not created a unified profile of every customer, there is a possibility that you might be sending the same marketing message to the same individual multiple times and that can annoy your customer. So that is another reason we need to do identity resolution is you don't, you want to accurately identify the profile and based on that you only want to send specific messages to specific individual only once, right? You don't want to send them multiple messages to the same phone number repeatedly because that's not going to give you a good customer experience and uh, identity resolution if you don't do it will result in poor customer service so for all these reasons we need to do identity resolution so how do we do it so data cloud employs a two-step process to resolve the identities to help figure out that okay these are the duplicates the, there are two ways identity resolution works. One is with the help of matching rules and the other one is with the help of reconciliation rules. Okay, so what are matching rules? This stage analyzes the records from different sources to identify potential matches based on specific criteria. So you can say that, okay, if there is an exact match on the name, that means we are talking about the same individual. You can do fuzzy matches as well. So matching rules, you will define that, okay, is this an exact match? Is this a fuzzy match you want to do? And based on that, you'll figure out that, okay, these are the contacts that might be pointing to the same individual rather than having duplicate records. We should, we should consolidate them and create a single profile for every customer. So one way is matching rules. And the other one is reconciliation, defining how to resolve conflicts when multiple matching records are found for the same individual, such as selecting the most recent or highest quality data source. So for example, let's say you have an individual that is present in multiple systems and that individual might have different addresses in physical address or home address in different systems, which is different. Now, which is the source of the truth? Now, which address you want to use? So reconciliation rules will help you to figure out, okay, should I do it based on the recent, the recent physical address the customer has provided? Should I use it based on this particular system that, okay, this system is the source of truth. So whatever this system says, I'll use that. So through reconciliation, reconciliation rules, when there is conflicts happening, you can use reconciliation rules to identify that, okay, this is the exact information.
information I'm going to go with. So for example, let's take an example here. So let's say John Smith is present in three system with different name and also slightly different phone number. So sales cloud has written John Smith, whereas marketing cloud has J Smith and e-commerce system has John S. And then the email address is pretty much the same in all three system. And based on this email, you can identify that this is the same individual. So when you're bringing all this data into data cloud, what will happen is the individual DMO will have three records for John Smith, one from sales cloud, one from marketing cloud, and one from e-commerce system. So you're going to have three contact records within the individual DMO for this John Smith. So you need to consolidate that, right? It's the same individual because all three share the same email address. And then this is the phone number they have. So there are two phone numbers. So this is the final profile that the unique profile for John Smith. So the name is John Smith. This is the email address. And these are the two phone number. Now, let's say you wanted to send a message to the customer, right? So either way is you can send message to both these phone numbers or with the help of reconciliation rule, you can say that, okay, the phone number that is present in marketing cloud is the right one. So you can do that based on reconciliation or you can also say that since this particular phone number was the recently updated one, I'm going to use that. So rather than sending messages to both the phone numbers, you can select that, okay, for any marketing messages, I'm going to use this phone number. And that is through the help of reconciliation rules. Data cloud matching rules would likely identify these three records as potential matches based on the shared email address and a fuzzy match on the name. So in the matching rule, you're going to define that, okay, this is a fuzzy uh, fuzzy name as well as exact email match. So you can, you can say that when you're creating matching rules. And because of that, it is going to identify that, okay, these three belong to the same individual. Defining how to resolve conflicts when multiple matching records are found for the same individual. So now which phone number do you want to use? One way is you save both the phone numbers, but let's say for communication, you want to pick up one particular phone number that you can do by either selecting the most recent or highest quality data source. And that is what you're going to define in the reconciliation rules. So this is about the identity resolution. We're going to go ahead and continue few more topics in under identity resolution before we jump into the practical aspects of creating matching rules. So this is it for this particular tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.